So you might not know using your own tissue as an option when considering breast reconstruction surgery. I did not know that. Dr. Ned Snyder of Snyder Plastic Surgery Breast and Body Center of Austin is here to explain. And I guess we're talking about this deep flat procedure. And that's something, he wouldn't tell you this, but I'm going to tell you. You're very well versed. You're a mentor to many in this. What is that? Explain that process to us. Sure. It's basically using, using abdominal tissue, so it's the skin and fat from your abdomen. We take a portion of the blood supply out of the muscle that sits below it, disconnect it from there, and reconnect that tissue and the blood supply up in the, to blood vessels in the chest. Okay. So we make a breast out of what a breast is, a skin and fat, 100% your own tissue. And, and it's, for a lot of people, it's tissue that they may have wanted to get rid of anyway from the abdomen. It's the same tissue that we take in a tummy tuck. Is that really reassuring for people to know they're taking something from their own body? I think so. I think there are people who have some concerns about putting a foreign body in, mm -hmm. uh, in the meaning in a breast implant or mm -hmm. something. So it means that we have something that, one, isn't a foreign body, and two, and it has longevity. It's something that's their own tissue and will age with them yeah. naturally over time. That's so interesting. Okay, so when we're choosing a surgeon, what do we look for? I'm sure there's so much that we really need to think about. Sure, I think I think everybody needs to to consider one experience of that surgeon and mm -hmm. their rates of complications and rates of flap loss um, and also length of surgery. Meaning that one someone who's more experienced is going to be much more much quicker and much more efficient mm -hmm. um, at doing these operations than someone who may not be. So when we have the deep flap procedure, how does that vary from like? A classic breast surgery. Is it a length of time in difference? Is it recovery different? Well, sure. So even within that, it's, there are multiple ways that we do breast reconstruction. So mm -hmm. sometimes the most common way is with, with a breast implant. Mm -hmm. uh, we also can move tissue from the back or tissue from the thighs. Mm -hmm. um, and we, sometimes when we move t tissue from the abdomen, it's not always just skin and fat. Sometimes people move muscle as well and you leave it, leave it attached to the abdomen. So mm -hmm. there are a few different um, choices there. Uh, I think some of them are uh, older choices that may be used less commonly now. Mm -hmm. Who's the candidate for the deep flap? Almost anybody is. I think there's a perception out there that some people don't feel like that they have enough tissue in their abdomen, uh, but most people really actually probably have enough to uh, to make to enough abdominal tissue that's equivalent to the size mm -hmm. uh, that their breasts are currently. Mm -hmm. I got enough. They can borrow some from me if they want to. <laughs> this is really interesting, though, on a serious note. Thank you for telling us about it. Sure. We appreciate it, the You're information. Welcome. And Snyder Plastic Surgery Breast and Body Center of Austin has locations in Austin and Round Rock. You can call 512-533-9900 or go to breastandbodycenteraustin.com to schedule an appointment.